okay this is kasturi day speaking on the tongue it's a continuation of the chapter digestive system according to icc syllabus class 6 and uh, i last stop with the teeth now i come with the tongue it's uh, a fleshy muscular organ attached at the back of the floor of the mouth its functions are it manipulates the food while chewing it helps in tasting the food it helps in mixing the watery secretion saliva with the food it helps in cleaning the teeth when food particles are stuck to it and it helps in speaking okay this is the picture of the tongue these are the different taste buds are present on the tongue the front portion is the sweetest part this is these two are the salty these two are sour and this uh, back of the tongue is the bitter taste okay now the salivary glands are three types of salivary glands are present sublingual sublingular submandibular and parotid glands its sublingular and parotid glands are found below the tongue some mandibular on the inner side of the angles of the lower jaw and parotid glands at the base of the ear they all secrete saliva it's a fluid containing water salt slimy mucus and an enzyme the amylase which converts starch into maltose now functions of the saliva it moistens and lubricates the mouth cavity and the tongue to make speak speaking and swallowing easy it cleans the mouth and destroys germs it binds the food particles and makes into mass called bolus it helps in digestion which starts in the mouth as saliva contains amylase converts starch into simpler sugar maltose okay starch converting into sugar that is maltose by the salivary amylase so a piece of bread or boiled rice when chewed thoroughly starts tasting sweet though starch is tasteless now the bolus which are formed which is formed in the mouth it comes down to esophagus esophagus the second part of the uh, alimentary canal food pipe okay it's the long narrow tube which runs down from the back of the throat down through the chest to open into the stomach here the food from the mouth that is the bolus moves down to the stomach by a movement called peristalsis it's a slow wave like movement which is seen in the walls of the esophagus due to the contraction and relaxation of the muscles it occurs throughout the alimentary canal it enables the food to be pushed downward no digestion occurs here okay now we come to the third part that is the stomach it's an elastic bag its walls are highly muscular it contains gastric glands which secrete gastric juices it contains what is the uh, what does the gastric juice contain it contains water hydrochloric acid and pepsin and some and a little to a little extent renin also these two are pepsin and renin are enzymes okay now water mixes with the food makes it uh, makes us with the bolus rather we can say and it makes it uh, semi solid and this hydrochloric acid it kills the germs of the food which may be entered along with the food it prevents rotting of the food during its long stay in the stomach it activates the enzyme pepsin what does do pepsin do pepsin converts proteins into peptones okay food remains here for about 3 to 4 hours or more and what does renin do renin changes casein which is present it's a protein present in the milk into curd okay and food here in the stomach it raises it stays there for 3 to 4 hours 
or sometimes more. It also churns the food thoroughly along with the digestive juices and changes it into a pulp-like thick paste called the chyme. The chyme moves in the first part of the small intestine. Now we come to the end of the stomach. We'll come with the, I'll come with the next video with the small intestine. This is my email ID. Kasturi74 at the rate gmail.com If you have any query, please contact at this uh, email ID and please do subscribe. Thank you.